Hey y'all, this is Lavish Maintenance. I'm the Southern Lady, and these are my makeup favorites for the month of April. This is everything. Let's go. First up, we got the Milk Ma uh, Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. As you can see, it's almost done. We got the Moonlit um, Eyelid Primer, Eyeshadow Primer. I like this because it's very sticky um, and it dries down translucent. It looks like a creamy color, but it dries down clear. I love the consistency. It's cute. Now you see how it dry down. Mm. Next is the Iconic London. Um, this is my eyebrow wax. This is my favorite one. I've tried the other ones. Um, this one is the best to me. As you can see, I use it every day because it looks a mess. <laughs> but I love this. I will re be repurchasing. Next is the Kosa's Airbrow. Um, it's for your eyebrows. And it's eyebrow gel. It's like a taupe brown color. And it adds uh, dimension and volume to my brows. Next up is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I think this is, the, yeah, this is in the color Ebony. I have Ebony and Chocolate. This is my favorite eyebrow pencil. Um, it's waxy, but it doesn't pull your eyebrow hairs out. Because some eyebrow pencils do that. I like it. This is the Milani Weekend Brow. Um, it's an eyebrow tint, like a pen. This is in the color Espresso. I like to use this because it, it makes um, the little strokes looks like hairs when you do it right. So I like using this in the front of my brows just to add some like hair strokes in the front. Next is the Fenty Beauty. Um, I, what is the name of this chair? Yeah, the Bright Fix chair. I can't remember the name of the product. But this is in the color Pumpkin. I use this as a color corrector. Now, a little bit goes a long way. Okay? You don't have to use nothing but like a little dot. It's very pigmented. And I like how it dries down. <clears throat> now you see how much that little bitty drop was this is my other my other color corrector it's like a crayon stick it's by live tinted it's in the color rise i love this one because i love how it dries down it doesn't move up under your makeup it stays right where you put it and that's the color I love it. Now look at how it blends out. Didn't I tell you? It stay right there. It don't move. Next up is the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. I do like to use these when I don't really want to do any heavy creams or liquids on my face I'll just use this and then do face powder over it and this is how they look cute next up is the Fenty cream um, bronzer in chocolate this is the cheeks out bronzer I love this it's a very neutral deep shade um, it's actually more so of a contour on me than a bronzer. And look at how it blends out. 
sure of it. I like how it has a little sheen on there. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is the mini size in the color 5.5. I like how this looks on the skin. I really want to try 6.5. I want to see if they make that one in the mini size. Now my favorite foundation this month is Pat McGrath's Labs. Um, the Skin Fetish Sublime Found, um, Perfection Foundation. I have it in shade Medium Deep 28. This is everything. I hate that I like it so much because it's expensive but when I tell you this is the perfect foundation it's great for texture it's great for dry skin and it's great for oily skin this is the morphe filter effect concealer I do have this in two colors I love this concealer okay it's great for um, people with aging under eyes like if you have bags up under your eyes or a lot of fine lines great and this is the Sephora best skin ever the color 45p the P is for pink I love the doe foot applicator with this concealer it's so big you really don't use a lot of product look at that that's cute I love that as a highlight shade this is a Danessa Myricks Vision Flush. It's a liquid blush. It's in the color uh, Ballet Slippers. A beautiful pink color. This is the perfect everyday blush shade for me. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. And it blends out like a dream love Danessa Myrick she has great products next is a setting power powder by Becca this is the hydro mist this is really my favorite setting powder of all of them okay and I've tried multiple and I still keep going back to this one I love this setting powder next up is the Laura Mercier um, setting powder in medium deep I use this to set all over my face I love to use the Becca up under my eyes because it's so fine and it has no flashback next is the Kosa's um, cloud set powder in the shade softly beautiful terracotta shade and it is very soft to the touch it kind of feels like a cream in the pan but it applies like a powder like a fine powder speaking of fine powder this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish this is in shade three tan girl one thing about charlotte tilbury she can make a powder she has the best powders on the market and i said what i said <laughs> baby you can't miss with miss charlotte if you see anything a powder product of hers get it and speaking of this is the charlotte tilbury bronzer girl and this is in the shade for the airbrush bronzer chap and these powders say airbrush and that is exactly what they have your skin looking like like you was airbrushed girl i love charlotte tilbury I'm probably going to always have a powder of hers in my favorites. Probably every month. Y'all going to hear me talking about Charlotte Tilbury. So, child, just get used to hear her name. <laughs> now, for highlight, I have the Black Radiance um, Baked Bronzer and Ginger Snap. Girl, this is so pretty. This is my favorite highlight. I'm trying to get into other ones. But I haven't found one yet that I like more than this one. I'm not lying especially a powder um highlight i just keep going back to this one it's the perfect amount of gold the perfect amount of pink it's just perfect and it's my favorite blush this month my powder brush and it's savage by nars it's a pretty red 
shimmer it's like a brown based red it's so pretty on the skin I use I kind of use it as like a blush um highlight kind of combo I just like the effect that it puts on my skin it doesn't do too much so it's perfect to put on top of a cream blush that's it right there on my finger so pretty and my favorite eyeshadow palette this month is the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, collaboration. I love this palette so much. I really want to get another one because I want to have a backup because I don't know if they'll ever make these palettes again. But I'm telling you, it's the best palette that Anastasia Beverly Hills ever made. I don't, I don't care what nobody else say. When I tell you Jackie did this with these colors, this is the perfect palette for a woman of color. You can just get this palette and not have to get any more eyeshadow palettes. I'm telling you. You can use it to dress up, to dress down. Look, I mean, look at these shimmers. Like, girl, come on. What other palette you gonna get all these shimmers like this? Girl, come on, girl. And look at the, the matte shades. Look at that. Girl. Look at that. Girl, look at Ginger. Look at Edges, girl. And then the names. It's the names for me. Big Wig. Come on. Pinker. And when I tell you all these colors are pigmented, every last one of them. I'm telling you, this palette is it. I don't know why Jackie Irina has not made any makeup yet, but honey, now if she come out with a makeup line, oh, she gonna get all my coins. I'm so serious. Love this palette. Jackie, come out with some more makeup. Girl, cause you know what you doing. Sis know what she doing. <laughs> Whew, next is the Bad Gal Bang mascara this is by benefit this is the travel size okay and baby call me the travel size mini size the look size queen okay this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray best setting spray on the market i don't care what nobody see don't girl argue with your mama this is the mac prep and prime this is my lip uh, primer I like to put this on especially if I'm putting on a like a matte lip product like this like this powder kiss liquid lip color from MAC that I love the perfect neutral color it's called over the taupe love it girl get into this color girl perfect And that doe foot applicator is different. Next up is the Fenty, okay, um, the MVP. And this is the Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Girl, when I tell you Rihanna, girl, Rihanna did that. This is the Fenty Beauty Lipstick in the color, I think it's shouty, if I'm not mistaken. It's that brown color love this I don't know what's up with these lipsticks too cause they stay stole out now it's a few of them that I want but I can't they're never in stock this is my favorite little lip liner for the month child you know it's just you know beauty supply little lips little pencil child in cocoa I don't even remember the brand but you see the material it's from a beauty supply but it's cute this is the um, ColourPop Lippy Pencil. I hate how these um, sharpen, but they all good. This is the Elf Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner. And it's in the color Plum Prune. Okay. I like how the, um, the pencil is shaped. It's like in a triangle type of thing so you can line your lips with this really good and that's a beautiful purple color 
line your lips with that and then put the mvp in the middle winner all right thank y'all for watching bye y'all y'all make sure y'all like and comment and subscribe and share and tell people and y'all know y'all know what to do come on now and comment and let's let's talk in the comments child have a good one